Hey guys, so I am back with another K-12 video. It's time to unbox some of the girls' stuff this year. Naya will be going into eighth grade. This is her last year of junior high with K-12. We have been loving this experience. Anaya has been at K-12 since she was in fourth grade and now she's in eighth. I can't believe it. I'm going to just share with you guys the materials that she received for this year for K-12, eighth grade. Here we go. So for art, she received paints and things. I'm going to put the picture up here of that. Intermediate art, American B, student pages. And this is her book she will use for the school year. It has lots of instructions and things of just the different arts that she will be doing. This she will use throughout the whole year. K-12 okay, offers art to all of its students. She also got this Intermediate Art American 2. This is the advanced preparation and safety information. Uh, they also supply them with different portraits of art. I don't have it open yet because I like to keep this closed to keep it neat until I get a binder to put all of these things in. Next she has her language arts. So for language arts this year, I'm going to have the paper. They give you this paper that tells you everything that should be included in the box. So I'm going to be looking down, and that's what I'm looking down at. It's this paper, if I need to. But So these are the books she will be reading for language arts this year. She will be reading Frederick Douglass and Frank, Lord of the Flies. That seems like something I would be interested in. And then they always give them these classic for young readers. They give these for all grades. Um, they all have different, this is of course volume eight because she's in eighth grade, but they start them um, young with these books too. And there's just lots of different stories within this book. So she will have read this whole book and all of the stories within it within this year. She has her supplemental anthropology eight. And that is pretty much all of her language arts this year so she has lots of books she'll be reading they also work online so some stuff will be done from her um ols is what it's called online learning school for math this year she only has one book i know she's happy about that this is just the reference guide when they give you these hard copy books like this you do not write in them so she will have a math notebook and that is where she will write her math problems and things like this but this is just like a guide that will guide you through the problems and um, if you need references, they help you. Or sometimes they give you problems to actually solve and do in your math notebook. Okay, so moving on to physical science. So she will be taking physical science, a spring scale. That's one of the scales where you can put stuff on to weigh it down. The graduated cylinder, a stopwatch. Inside of here is a thermometer, lamp reciprocals, a digital scale phenolphthalene indicator. I think that's what it says. Phenolphthalene indicator. So yeah, she'll be using this mystery liquid <laughs> for science this year. Two size cork stoppers, D cell battery hold holder, metallic spring, little bulbs for those things that I showed you guys. So these are little bulbs in there. I don't want to pull them all out because I don't want to break anything. A compass, is inside of here, so just a little compass, safety goggles, a double pulley, which means you can pull it from each side, copper wire, she's gonna be a real scientist at the end of eighth grade, safety gloves, a plastic empty bottle, a magnet set, metallic rod. That is pretty much everything that she has for science this year. Naya is going to be a scientist at the end of eighth grade. <laughs> Now we are moving on to her American history. Sorry if you guys hear the kids in the background, but I'm a mom. Kids make noise. They're in the room doing what they do. <laughs> I'm trying to get this video for y'all. A History of U.S. This is a uh, volume D and it's set from 1929 to the present. She has a big world map. I usually hang these on the wall so the girls can see them. This year I'm going to hang it with thumbtacks because I do it with tape and it usually only lasts a little bit and then it gets all ripped. <laughs> so I will be hanging this up on the classroom wall with 
thumbtacks this year. Live and you learn. This is her student guide. Now these paperback ones, the kids are able to write in. So she'll be able to write in this history book. I'm pretty sure she won't be too happy about this because it's pretty thick. It is what it is. That's what school is about, work. <laughs> So here is her student guide, and this will be the book that she works in. Last in history is another book. This one is volume C, so this one would come before that first book I showed you guys. 1865 to 1932, we'll be talking about for history. But these books, again, she will not be writing in. She will just be reading and taking notes out of these books. Right, she also has P.E., they provide you with a ball and a pump. You do have to give this back, though, at the end. Um, they provide you with a jump rope. Last year, she had a, a little better jump rope. It was like a rubber one. This one this year is a uh, plastic. For language this year, she is taking French. That will be her language. She decided to do that instead of music. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about K-12, our, our homeschooling experience, or any questions for Naya entering the eighth grade, please be sure to leave them below. Also, be sure to comment what you're most looking forward to this school year and your favorite subject in school. We cannot wait to hear you guys' answers. Be sure to check out our K-12 video third grade that will be going up. And we also have a sixth grade unboxing and a seventh grade unboxing for K-12 that you guys can check out. Also to let you guys know, this is not a sponsored video. I just like to share our experience. Homeschooling is already stressful enough in itself. And I feel that if I can show people an option that's out there and what type of materials they'll be giving, that can kind of lessen up the stress for you. All of K-12's items are given free of cost, so you do not pay for anything. Some items you do have to return at the end of the year. They also provide the students with a laptop if needed for schooling purposes, but the books and things for the year have to be returned at the end of the year if they say it's returned items. Some stuff they'll tell you to hold on to for next year or other things they'll tell you that they're still in good condition, you can return them or you can keep them. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. We truly appreciate it. If you're new to checking out our channel, please watch some of our other videos. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you again. Bye.